Hi, this is Gilly, Radio Prepper, and today I'm at the park. I'm testing a chameleon antenna, the uh, tactical Delta Loop. Now, I'm a big fan of Delta Loops. Uh, I use them on 6 meters, and I've used one on 30 meters, so I know they work really, really well. So I was very excited when I got this antenna. The reason I chose this park uh, instead of going up in the mountains is that in the mountains it's on rocks and the antenna uses the spike so that wouldn't work. Of course there are other ways to mount the antenna because it uses the hybrid micro and I've been using this for <laughs> quite a few years with the uh, EMPA system you know with a 3.2 meter whip on top or 2.85 meters whip and this is really a great bit of kit. I think it's a 5-to-1 uh, UNU, and I'm not sure of the number. 9-to-1, 5-to-1, I think it's a 5-to-1, but uh, I'll have to confirm that. But it does work really, really well with a whip and, you know, a long wire as well. So now the way this antenna is uh, set up is that you have, of course, the spike. So that goes into the ground, <laughs> goes without saying. On top of the spike, you have this adapter here, which has threads at a 45 degree angle. So you mount this on the spike, very easy. What I like about this antenna is it's very fast to set up, just like the EMPA system, it just takes a few minutes. You put the uh, hybrid micro on one side, a 45 degree angle, and then you have two very long 17 foot stainless steel, I think it's stainless steel, but you know, whips. And, you know, that's about five meters. That's a very long whip. And you can see the shape of a triangle here already. And the other one goes onto the hybrid micro. Of course, I'm going to extend those whips. And at the end of them, there will be a wire that will connect between the two. So that will be the top, uh, well, the bottom of the triangle, which is going to be on the top. The point of the triangle will be on the bottom. Now I just noticed uh, this one is a little bit lo loose. <laughs> this one is not moving, so a couple drops of epoxy at the bottom will fix that real quick. All right, freeze frame here. And <laughs> this is Gilles from the future. I'm pretty sure Chameleon doesn't manufacture these whips. Uh, they just buy them from somewhere else. So that one slipped by uh, quality control and uh, it's an easy fix, but really at that price point, uh, it shouldn't happen. But I'm sure Chameleon, after watching this video, is going to check all their whips, so <laughs> no worries. So here's the, uh, the wire that's used uh, between uh, the two whips, the top of the two whips for the uh, upper part of the antenna. It has those little clips on and it has a stress relief loop here that goes over the top of the antenna, just like so. And you clip uh, the wire onto the whip, of course, for electrical contact. Optionally, uh, the antenna also comes with a bit of coax with a, an RF choke. Those are uh, ferrite beads here. Uh, they are, let's see, I think five of them, yes. I wish it was BNC, <laughs> of course. I wish the uh, MPAS, well, the hybrid micro was BNC. Most uh, QRP radios uh, are, you know, use BNC uh, connectors. The military uses BNC connectors. I don't know why manufacturers keep using the uh, PL and SO or 239, 159. I don't I never remember. I don't use them <laughs> or, or very rarely. So, but yeah, <laughs> BNC, please. Yeah, at least as an option. This antenna isn't cheap, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty pricey as far as antennas go. But if you consider all the parts separately, like, you know, those uh, 17 foot whips uh, cost about probably about $75 each if you buy them separately or somewhere else. So also the uh, hybrid micro uh, is a very nice bit of kit once again, and that justifies the price. Plus uh, you get the, uh, the spike, uh, the adapter, the 45 degree uh, angle adapter, and you get the wire between, uh, between the two whips. So, you know, all in all, uh, I think the price is pretty right there where it should be. Uh, of course, you know, some people will prefer, like myself, to build <laughs> their own antennas. But uh, truth be told, I cannot build something that nice. And that's all there is to it. Not everyone wants to build their own antennas. 
so the uh, hybrid micro especially is, uh, is super nice and I could not uh, make something like that that simple as that so what you get is a very well built antenna like uh, you know all the chameleon antennas I've seen so far I need to get a rubber mallet that would be so much nicer very nice and uh, it only took about three minutes really I was really surprised at how fast it went up that's what she says <laughs> all right let's put the uh, analyzer to it uh, we'll do a panoramic scan 3 plus 16 we'll scan uh, this antenna is supposed to work for uh, you know between 80 and 6 meters now I'm sure, uh, and, and it says, you know, mostly between uh, 10 and uh, 50 megahertz. Delta loop antennas are supposed to be a full wave long. This isn't the case here, of course, because the uh, perimeter of the delta loop is about 18 meters, 59 feet. So you can call it maybe a, a random delta loop, I don't know. But we can see here that the SWR is pretty good, uh, starting at uh, 8 MHz and up, so you can use it without a tuner. The second graph shows that the SWR stays at or below 2 to 1 on the rest of the HF bands here, starting at 19 MHz, so you can definitely use it without a tuner up to uh, 10 meters. And interestingly enough, uh, on uh, 6 meters, uh, it's pretty decent, around uh, two to one uh, on the whole band. So uh, it's not the greatest SWR, but most radios won't care about that. So uh, yeah, uh, very interesting. Not a whole lot of traffic on uh, 20 meters. The great thing is that I'm not using a tuner. I pretty much don't have to use a tuner uh, 30 meters and up. So that's really great. Alpha 92 Hotel Kilo. Oh, okay, very fine. Alpha 92 Hotel Kilo, SM2 Japan Echo Bravo. Okay, that's I'll be very fine. And okay about your working conditions. Yeah, no wonder you have a strong signal. You're almost 20 over 9 on my meter here. So well, reception is good, but it's not surprising. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. Uh, no, lots of people calling, so... Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. That's correct, it's uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QSL. Foxtrot 2, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, your report is 555, it's QSM here, the QRM and QSB on the frequency, sorry. Uh, my name is Endola, Alpha, November, Golf, Echo, Lima, Alpha. Endola is my name, and I'm working here with a special call from Germany. Uh, information you can find on QRZ.com. Uh, my back to Fox, Foxtrot 2, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Thank you very much. Uh, you have a very good signal here. I'm in the uh, south of France, uh, close to uh, Antibes, and uh, not far from Nice. Uh, you are 5858 five here, and I'm using a, a Delta Loop antenna with a uh, with five watts, uh, five watts uh, QRP uh, QSR. Thank you. 
Thank you very much and uh, have a good night. Uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over. Euh, je repasse le micro à, à un QM, d'ailleurs c'était son tour, hein, et je vérifie le problème là, ici. Break. 4 WBY. Ah, je crois qu'il y a quelqu'un qui s'est signalé, ça je trouve que c'est le reçoit quelques mois, je crois le prendre. Euh, tu as perdu l'idée des deux coups là par rapport à sa position précédente, et la modulation de l'unité grave. Euh, voilà, je vais constater un petit blanc, voilà, ça c'est un cas modulé. Merci beaucoup ici euh, F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee à Antibes euh, QRP portable. Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Ah oui, ça va passer ce coup-ci. Reprenez la station. F4, Whisky, bravo, Yankee. F4, Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Merci beaucoup, euh, euh, je suis à Antibes, Antibes, euh, QRP 5 watts, QRP 5 watts, euh, QSA. Euh, 4, euh, bravo, Whisky, Yankee, euh, QRP 5 watts, c'est ça Affirmatif, c'est F4, Whisky, bravo, Yankee, F4, Whisky, bravo, Yankee, en QRP portable 5 watts. Euh. Bravo, Yankee, Whisky, c'est correct F4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Ah, Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Je suis dilectique, excusez-moi. Hein. F4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Euh, J'ai noté votre puissance de 5 watts. J'ai noté votre QTH. Ici, c'est l'arbre plage. J'ai fait un Québec Mike avec 80 watts crête maximum. Hein. Euh, je vois le microphone. Confirmez-moi le prénom et le lieu. À vous le micro. Euh, 4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee. F4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee. Merci beaucoup. Euh, euh, QTH, Antibes. Antibes, QTH, Antibes. Bravo, Yankee, Whisky. Mon prénom c'est Gilles, Golf India Lima. Golf India Lima, QSA Ok Gilles, 100%, c'est Sierra 0, Sierra 1. Mais je, je, je vous copie, hein, tout à fait, 5, 5, 100%, euh, prénom Gilles, Golf India Lima, QSA. Merci beaucoup, euh, Gilles, euh, Golf India Lima, QSA. Merci beaucoup, au bord de l'eau, on est avec les gens, moi je suis aussi au bord de l'eau. C'est peut-être pour ça que ça passe mieux chez moi. Euh, voilà, le microphone, si j'ai bien, c'est revenu. All right, guys, <laughs> this is crazy. Five watts, 80 meters with an 18 meter perimeter antenna. That's a very short antenna. I'm very surprised that I was able to make a QSO a contact on 80 meters. You know, that's, that's just crazy. Now, if anyone says this antenna doesn't work, <laughs> show them this video because it certainly does. <laughs> 